I'm just kidding. I was making a face. You probably weren't noticing. No, I wasn't look noticing. <laughs> Sorry. I was doing a big I was doing a little face just now. Everybody saw oh, it. They were okay. thinking, oh, how about that face he's got going on there? Is that what they were thinking? So before we start the show, so Laura, you're the one who was late today, huh? I was, yes. Mm-hmm. Blame it on the what rain, was... as they say. And by rain, do you mean diarrhea or I mean Millie Vanilli. <laughs> what do you uh they just blame it on them, you know. If they wanted to go damn fine, I wouldn't have got distracted. I wouldn't have been late, late for this shit. <laughs> well, I actually did go to the bathroom, number two. Oh, that's but good. I did it and I but I did it in time. Meaning did into a beat. It to a in beat. time. Yeah, I did it to a beat. Yeah. It, uh-huh. All the all the logs kind of came out rhythmically, you know. Really? Boom. 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 Yeah. They plop, came out. Plop. Plop, 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 Don't want no short. Plop, plop. Don't want no short. Plop, plop. Don't want no short. Plop, plop. All right. Don't want no short, short, plop. Don't want no short, short, plop. I want that long, long plop, 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 plop. Ploppity plop. So, um, <clears throat> I'll just mention this now. Um, you know, we do this thing where you can have, um, if you, you know, there's this behind the scenes content that we have. And um, we, you know, if you're a second tier member on this, actually, I have a couple of questions for people. But um, so the first question is this is so one of the behind the scenes things we're going to put up is, well, Laura and I started talking about the season finale of White Lotus, um, this most recent one, season two, and it ended up being a kind of a long talk. And so we, we're going to put we're, I'm debating, actually, should we put that up or not? Maybe that's going to be boring. I don't know. I don't know. But, it's, it, you know, as we've come to know this crowd a little better over the you know previous past weeks, um, that was redundant, previous past. Um, I think we've come to learn that they are into that sort of thing (laughs) well um well anyway the okay we'll put that maybe i'll put that up but i mean hey it might not be that it's not going to really be that funny but wow alex sorry sorry to cut you off alex machin 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 said season two was so good that they liked it better than season one hmm Mm. We, we, we both Laura and I both disagree. Our thoughts. We disagree, but we get into it and stuff. And um, yes, Bryce, that's the correct observation. Every single White Lotus episode this season started with a sex situation. Well, that is because not just the a theme of the season was sex, as the, the, as declared by the director himself. The theme was was of this season was softcore porno. <laughs> that was the theme. He said, "I want. I really want to explore softcore porno." Um, you know, la- the last season was about money. This season is about softcore pornos. Do you? But, what do you think of the word porno? It's kind of a funny word, don't you think? Yeah, that's what. What if someone say it was porno? They're like, "Hi, my name is Porno." I made. I had a whole bit about that that I tried doing that never worked. You did? It was, yeah, it was. That's here, so let me try crazy. To, Great let me, minds think alike, as they say. I think I tried to tell it to you at one. No, point, I though. swear you did not. I swear here. I just totally that was of my own accord. Here's my. This is my bit. I'll just do it real quick here. Okay. Okay, so I I start off, I think I start off and I just go like this and I say, hi, my name is James Porno. And when I was young, I got teased a lot because my last name is Porno and people thought that was my porn star name. But to be completely honest, I had never even sucked one dick before. And uh, I don't know. It, maybe it goes on from there, I think. But something like that. Well, I, yeah. That's cool. What if the guy's name was like porno chest or like hi my name is porno dan and i go to i work at arco and i've no, always you... just you know my name has always been a staple of who i am but my name is porno dan call me whatever you want I, my name is porno dan but my friends call me chester and i just want to say <laughs> i love living in the greater los angeles air arena I was originally from Rancho Cucamonga, but now I am happy to say I have a full-time residence at uh, Santa Monica and Doheny. <laughs> How about know. this? But by the way, you know when I substitute Todd, I had there was a girl in one of my classes. She was Thai, 
but her last name was Kitty Porn. I'm mean, not last right. name. Her first name. Her first name was Kitty Porn. I mean, her oh, first really? name was Kitty Porn. Mistero Tristero had a good idea. Pornelius. Hi, my name is Pornelius Boots, and I currently work at Steve Madden Boots Boot Store Boot Stop. <laughs> um, I just love it. Hi, my You're name is James. That. My name yeah. is James Porno, um, and when I was younger, I got teased. Uh, I got teased a lot because my last name was Porno, and people thought that was my porn star name. But but it's just a regular name. I used it to go to school, take attendance. <laughs> he got teased. Look, the joke here is that when he's he got teased a lot because people thought that was his porn star name. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's so ridiculous. It? He would have a porn star name when he's a kid. He said people <laughs> thought it was my porn star name, but to be completely honest, I had never even sucked one dick before. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of an absurd piece, you know, isn't it? It is absurd. I mean, it's very, it's good. I like it. I don't know. It never went anywhere. And I don't even know if I had more to it than that. It just but... went, it just arrived. It went here. You <laughs> see. Yeah, that's a, that's all I had on it, you know. James Porno, you know. Right. Pornelius. Pornelius Maximus. Imagine just like a teacher taking attendance. Hi, uh, I'll be taking attendance before we start class today. Katrina Koltenka, are you here? Present. Randy Floyd, are you here? Present. No. Porno no. James. Porno? Porno, are you here? <laughs> well, it's like this. Oh, it goes like this. It's more like this. Here. Uh, okay. Uh, who's in that? Let's see. Uh, okay. Uh, Olins. Jeremy Olins. Okay. Here. Absent. Oh, okay. Here. Okay. Oh, oh you're here. Okay. Okay, I'll just good. be the audience for you. Okay, I'm actually going to mark you tardy. Okay, sorry. Tardy's a funny... Isn't tardy uh, kind of a funny word? My dog ate my homework, sorry. That was, that's why I was late. So, tardy. Okay. What was late? Why were you late? Do you have a, do you have a note? <sighs> my dog, my homework, it's a long story. Just, it's cool. <laughs> mark my, me tardy. It's my dog, a, my homework, it's a long story. Just mark <laughs> me tardy. <laughs> My dog, my homework. It's a long story. Just lock, lock me tardy. <laughs> All right. Now, let's see. Okay, Olin's. So you're here, tardy. Uh, let's see. Um, persons. Kate. Kate Persons. Here. Okay. Um, porno. Here. James. <laughs> He's all introverted. He's like, here. Wait, Lord, do that thing where remember that the impression you used to do where you used to kind of do your hair. Say he has long hair, you know, and he's kind of yeah. um, um yeah, here. 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 Yeah, that's it. That's it right there. No, that was a different impression. That was I know that's a different impression, but I think that's you can like work a woman it. working at a coffee bar. <laughs> type of thing. Here, do that impression. Blow you up. All right. Um, blow her up. Oh. Blow her if you can. I'll blow her up. I think I can blow her so up. So wait, what this is an impression of you say what it is. I'm not sure. A girl okay. at a coffee bar, maybe okay. she's running into somebody she knows and she right. maybe likes them or something. I don't know. Right. Hi. <laughs> Did I see you at the open mic the other day? That was really good. Yeah. Um, so I was thinking maybe we could get some coffee, like, you know, if you're not doing anything on Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. I know. I know, I know, I know. My dog ate my homework the other day too. It was so just. It was, it was cool. It was like this. Well, I yeah, love my... your. I loved your guitar playing. Do you know every chord? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know every chord? I was learning the guitar the other day, and I'm pretty sure I learned all the chords. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I totally learned like A minor and then G major, and then I'm pretty sure I learned C major, and. Yeah, it's like all of them, right? Yeah. Okay. It's like that. Well, I'll see you tomorrow then, okay? Yeah. Call me. You can call me. Can I get your number? No, it's cool. Don't worry. Okay, bye. I don't know. <laughs> what am I doing here? <laughs> Wait, look what Kalia said. Can you play every string? Oh, you can play every string. <laughs> Wait, can you strum every string? I can. Um... I mean, it's hard, but it's it's cool, you know. My friend James, James Porno, maybe you heard of him. <laughs> <laughs> he can actually strum every string. <laughs> My friend James Porno, he learned like every fret on the guitar, like 
like two years ago and now he's really good yeah <laughs> he totally can play jagged little pill i mean sorry the album like the whole album <laughs> he actually played the entire jagged little pill album from head to toe yeah and also he totally was like in the video for that song what's up by four non blondes i'm not saying he's like bragging about it or whatever but it was really good <laughs> i mean it was really good my friend james james porno maybe you heard of him he goes to west side high he <laughs> said i don't know he goes he um he actually was an extra in the four non blondes video what's up and he, it was pretty <laughs> sick <laughs> I don't know. I'm not. So my friend James Porno, he got this really awesome pair of goggles and he also got like this top hat and then he like put the goggles on his top hat and wore it and then he was totally like on set for the Four Non Blondes video, What's Up? And like, <laughs> I swear, if you watch that video, like Linda Perry totally rocks that style and like my friend James Porno totally started that. Yeah. If you saw that video... Linda Perry totally rocks my world, <laughs> but James Porno kind of started it, and so therefore <laughs> James Porno rocks my world. I can't, I can't do that to my hair because I got these I things on. And I'm just gotta, oh, you, know, you can just pantomime. It's like this. Oh yeah, you're right. I'll pantomime. <laughs> like I'll, I'll use this as the ear, you know. So, um, hey, so I saw you at the show last night. <laughs> Were you playing for me? <laughs> I like that. Oh wait, was that wait like, was that song? Wait, hold on. Was that song that you sang about James Porno? Was that about me? <laughs> <laughs> like that. Hey Tristan. Hey Tristan. Hi. Yeah. Did I see you at the Jagged Little Pill show last night? But <laughs> like, <laughs> that's I the name of the band. I'll, I'll let... <laughs> That's the name of the band or what? Well, that would be funny if it was the band, but I was thinking it was like the album Jagged Little Pill being as being performed by Alanis Morissette. Like amazing. <laughs> And um, I'm pretty sure, like, you were wearing, like, knee-high cut-off shorts, right? <laughs> <laughs> and you... <laughs> I'm pretty sure I... <laughs> I'm pretty sure I saw you from behind. Like, were you wearing, like, like checkered bands? Like, you know, those small bands that have checkers on them and, like, some knee-high cut-off shorts and, like, like goggles? But you not those... on your head, like, on a hat? Wait, were you wearing tube socks? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I saw you and I was like, oh my God, that's Tristan. Don't say hi. But then I was like, wanted to say hi, but you turned around and then you walked to the concession stand and got a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh my God. I just got really choked up because like then she started playing, um, you know, like ironic or whatever. And I was like, Oh my god, this song is so perfect for right now because it was like raining and stuff. And I was like, I just like ran to the the restroom and I just like, you know, like I I kind of like barfed or whatever. But then it was fine because like <laughs> I kind of barfed. <laughs> so I went to the restroom. I kind of barfed. I didn't know what to do. I had only three quarters left. So I went to the nearest payphone. I called my friend James Porno. Maybe you've heard of him. I thought you were gonna say I, I said had James. Three... <laughs> I said, James, what do I do? I just barfed and my crush is here at this jagged little pill concert. And he said, James Porno said, Don't even worry about it. I'm on my way. <laughs> Next thing I know, ten minutes later, James Porno shows up. He's got a daisy. <laughs> He's wearing Daisy. He's wearing He's wearing, wearing cut-off cargo. Duke. He's wearing he's daisy boots and a tube top, and I'm like, wearing, oh, he's what wearing the hell? that he's was wearing my. Cut, he's wearing cut-off. Um, he's wearing cut-off cargo shorts, <laughs> and a muscle t-shirt. <laughs> you know, like a mesh muscle t-shirt. I thought, James, you are a lifesaver. He gave me the daisy, <laughs> and I gave it right to Tristan, and I said, "This one's for you." <laughs> I said, "This bud's for you." I thought you were going to go in this know. direction where you were like, I was in the bathroom, so I went to the restroom, and I just, like, barfed, and I had, like, three quarters, so I didn't know what else to do, so I just, like, bought some tampons, like, at the vending machine, Oh, it's a and I, like, took one, and I stuck it, like, in my butt, because when I barfed, like, a little bit of diarrhea came out, and I was like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> 
I was like, uh. <laughs> I thought, oh, that's. It kind of like scored a hole in my door a little bit. Scored a hole. It kind of scored a hole. I scored a hole in like my butt, the butt part of my underwear. And I was like, ugh. I, and when I get them on my cargo shorts, uh, I like put a tampon in it. And then all of a sudden, my friend James like pages me on my beeper and like, he's <laughs> like, yeah, James Porno. Yeah, him. Yeah, the guy from <laughs> chemistry class. Totally. Oh my God. The guy from chemistry class in the What's Up video. <laughs> <laughs> he's so cool. I know. No, but seriously, like he came yeah, yeah, and he yeah, brought me a mixtape that had like it had like meatloaf wet up on it. I mean, it had like <laughs> meatloaf. It had like meatloaf on it. Bad out of hell. And then it also had the song "What's Up." Oh, yeah. It had it meatloaf. What's had, up? It had meatloaf. What's up on there? And it also had "I Want to Sex You Up" by Color Me Bad. And I was like, "Oh my god!" I needed to hear that song right then, even though I was at the Jagged Little Pill concert because, like, I was just feeling really bummed, you know, like that I, I like, just squirted really a little barfed. bit. In my, I squirted like a little bit in my underwear, and I just felt like really like insecure, you know, <laughs> because it smelled a little bit like poo. But like, I don't think my friend Tristan noticed. But I mean, whatever. <laughs> He like he was totally busy. went up to this guy with one of those hats that has like one of those like propellers on it or whatever. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I think we're on different pages here. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. What? The, Tristan went up to the guy and told him we're on different pages. <laughs> no, Tristan went up to a guy that had like a <laughs> propeller, a propeller on, hat. Yeah. Propellers. Yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, okay, I think we're on different pages. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but yeah like third eye blind like opened the show and like honestly <laughs> they were really like they were okay actually counting crows open and the whole time i was thinking wow they're pretty good they're pretty good but honestly have you heard the new chumbawamba album it's so <laughs> sick it's like sick. it's so sick <laughs> it's sack you know that song i get knocked down I'm pretty sure that's about my friend James Porno. <laughs> but do not tell anyone because if that got out, I would be in deep fucking shit. <laughs> like seriously deep shit. <laughs> okay. Ugh. Anyway, I totally got the album Get a Grip yesterday by Aerosmith. <laughs> and like, you know how there's three nipples on the cover and one of them is pierced? It gave me this idea that like maybe I should get my lobes pierced with like a bigger gauge than 10. Maybe it, it gave me this idea. Maybe I should get maybe I should get James Porno's nipple pierced. <laughs> maybe Porno should get his nipples pierced. <laughs> Cause I was thinking like if he submitted to be on the next Aerosmith albums, like cover. <laughs> He could maybe do it. <laughs> like, he's that good. <laughs> Porno's so good at guitar. Anyway, um, so s let's see. So should we, um, should we start this show? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, oh, anyway, point being is, yeah, if you want to hear the, the White Lotus, <laughs> you know, recap, it's on there. <clears throat> but... Anyway, um, all right. I guess we'll start the show. I don't even know what the heck I'm thinking. Go on. Let's go on. <laughs> <coughs> Welcome to the um, Chicken Coop. My name is Brent Weinbach. I'm Laura Weinbach. This is the show where we talk about stuff. You know, um, we usually kind of watch things and react to them, you break them down and, you know, co do commentary and kind of find uh, deeper meaning. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. And um, th so on this episode, well, you know, um, Christmas is coming up this year. <laughs> <laughs> and um I was thinking that, well, what's a big part of Christmas? Um, well, a big part of Christmas is... Hey, it's a big part of Christmas toys. is the Super Chat, actually. Oh, oh, oh whoa, 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 whoa. What in like the that? hell is going on here? Wow. 
what the hell is going on here? What the hell is this? Who is this? Oh, this is Chicken Jessica. This is our producer, Chicken Jessica. It's Chicken Jessica right here. So like <laughs> I was saying, Super Chat's a big part of Christmas <clears throat> and oh, Hanukkah oh, and yeah, all that stuff. Is. So, oh, you don't know about it, though, huh? What the hell? All right, let me spit up. <laughs> What in, the, what in the hell? Uh, so a super chat. Uh, it's a way to uh, stop being a freeloader and uh, support the show monetarily. No, no, I'm, no. no. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No. Um, what the hell? It's, it's a way to uh, support the show monetarily <laughs> with. Um, well, let me just let me just check this out. So you can you can click on the dollar sign in the chat window, pick a super sticker, super chat, whatever you want. You got this nice little slider here to empty your account and hit buy and send. And your chat gets highlighted, and I guess they call that a super chat because Monetary knows what's up. Man, oh, uh, uh, Bryce Shell did something like that earlier, I think. Did um, he? Know? Oh yeah, yeah, I think so. And right, I you. would say that, and and let me just actually oh, yeah. say that all proceeds go to the James Porno Foundation of the, for the arts, and um, so yeah, you got that right. So there's Bryce's hell comment as well. Um, that's the super chat, and uh, that's. All I got for you. We okay, great. I'm ahead. I'm ahead. <clears throat> I'm Thanks, Chicken Jessica. That was crazy. Now, hey, by the way, don't even. He was totally joking about the freeloading thing. You do what you want. It's not even a, like that. You know what I mean? It's not even. No, like I was that. not joking. No, yeah, I was, I was completely joking. <laughs> I was completely joking. I'm in a mood. That's all it is. No, but freeloading. He meant exactly what Chodes meant. Is that. It's just go pooing in your pants, you know. Uh huh. Going poo poo. Right. It's just going poo poo in the pants. You know? I yeah yeah. That's a so, good definition of that. <laughs> uh, so would you ever consider um, calling your your character Frederick Porno? <laughs> Fredericks of Porno. Or Fred Porno. Fred Porno. I like James Porno more. Because you, you love know? the name Fred, don't you? Oh, I I love the name for I if I have ever have a son i would like to name him fred well, and frederick for long yep Freder Fre frederick 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 weinbach so he would actually be frederick of hollywood <laughs> <laughs> because that's what you know could be yeah that's could, what be. I don't know. could be and plus i would probably you know i would dress him up um in lingerie at an early age and you know my name is Sir Frederick of Hollywood. I sport a crotchless strap cheek and um, nothing else. Come to my home at 20 o'clock on the double. Your Majesty, I give you Fredericks of Hol Frederick of Hollywood. Uh, yes, Your Majesty, I brought here a gift, a crotchless pant. I come uh, bearing a gift. I come, yeah. A crotchless thong for Her Majesty's monkey. <laughs> 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 a, for, a gift for Her Majesty's monkey. My very own original creation, the Sir Frederick of Hollywood crotchless thong made expressly for Her Majesty's monkey. I bow. I, I, I have created the newest in thong technology, <laughs> the patented Frederick of Hollywood crotchless and strapless thong for Her Majesty's monkey. Here it is. I give it to the... It's, I've I give to the... I, I give to the... created the original patented, padded, crotchless, strapless, stringless, thongless <laughs> thong. <laughs> I present to you her Majesty's monkey, the thongless thong. I revert to thee. <laughs> it's like what is? I revert. To, I revert. <laughs> I I I I I oblige to thee. <laughs> you know. Wait. What am I? I'm trying to think of a word, but I can't think of it now. But what is a thongless thong? In all honesty, <laughs> is it simply nothing at all? Why is a thong called a thong? Is because it because it thongs your your butt crack? Like a rubber thong, it goes okay because I, thing. you know, my introduction to the word thong was from a rubber thong that goes on your feet, right? right. Oh, did that yeah. come after the thong underwear? Well, no, I think what it is is that, yes, I guess a thong is maybe the T or Y shape that shape strap that goes in between your toes, right? And so, I think because a thong 
has a Y or T shaped sort of formation that goes into your butt crack. I think that's what that's about. I think. Yeah, it's, it's a almost T. It's a T. It's a T. It's a T. It's a T strap. So I T-strap. guess that's what the thong means. It's a T hong. T hong. <laughs> <laughs> it's about the T shape. T hong. <clears throat> <laughs> T Hong. Oh, whoa, look at that's crazy. Look at look at Alex Matchin's uh profile picture. Did you see that, uh, Chicken Jessica? Oh, there you go. I sure did. Is that that's from cool. Desai, whatever it's called. Dei Tanisama Epare Ichiban or Dei Epare Ichiban, whatever, something like that. Um, that's cool. Um, <laughs> Chode's porno wine box. Um, so that's what. So I think that they took it from a sandal. I think because it was, I don't know, something like that. Well, yeah, maybe they took it from the word prong. Hmm. You know, a prong is like two things that go like this, but a thong is one thing that goes like this. (laughs) So, all right, let's... Well, speaking of thongs, um, that's a little sort of a toy in a way. Um, This... uh, this episode is about toys because we have, you know, Christmas is coming up and toys are a big part of Christmas. I mean, I remember just wanting things for Christmas and, you know, um, yeah, I, I wanted, you know what I wanted? I remember looking, I would look in uh, target catalogs and stuff and I would say, Oh, that looks cool. And I remember seeing this board game, um, for, uh, this scrutinize. I remember seeing it and I thought the art looked really cool in, in the game. And I thought, this looks like a cool board game. And that was something that we got for Christmas. And that that's a game we still play today. That that gift lasted a long time for us because we still like playing Scrutinize. Scrutinize your penis thighs. <laughs> Battle Master's bait. <laughs> yeah, that's the song. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know. I divert today. <laughs> what? Nothing. I divert. <laughs> uh, I revert. I revert to you. I revert back to the. <laughs> and uh, we, uh, the art. If you guys like art, cool art, try to get a copy on eBay of the game Scrutinize. It's, it's great. Kinda like, it's kind of like scatter. Well, there's two sides to it, but one side is kind of like categories where there's a pick up uh, an illustration or a painting. Actually, um, they're all done by the same artist. They're really cool. They they have all these they'll be themed by a letter of the alphabet. And um, I mean, these pieces I think existed before the game did, but um, all the art it's so say it's the letter S it'll be this shop. Uh, It's called the shopkeeper or something like that. And there's all these different things in the shop that start with the letter S and you have to just write down, you know, within a certain amount of time, all the things that start with a certain letter or that with that letter S in that case. And then, you know, kind of like categories. If you share the answer with the other, with one of the other people, you have to cross it out. It doesn't count. So you have to find, you have to be putting down all of the possibilities and trying to find stuff that other people are not going to write down also, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, anyway, it's a really good, the other side is uh, kind of these com- kind of more comic uh, cartoony looking uh, illustrations, um, mm-hmm. but it's a different kind of play style, but um, really cool game scrutinize. And I remember that getting that for Christmas and that was a cool kind of toy slash game, I guess. But, um, but anyway, yeah, we have some commercials here. I guess we're going to look, look at, anyway, this is a segment that we're calling, um, wait, did you have any kind of toy thing you wanted to share? No, me? Yeah. Uh, no, <laughs> not really. I mean, I don't know. All right. Not well, sure. Laura got a lot of use out of scrutinize. Though, so. Oh, I definitely love that game. It's really good. Um, so scatological gories however i also enjoyed <laughs> <laughs> scatological gories um no, uh, so um, well, i look. mean we loved it you know we had so many games we got so many games over the years our whole one so we used to share a bedroom well me and brent used to share a room when we were little and then eventually that became his and our younger brother's room and over the years i guess that was not very relevant really information but the point is that that bedroom is kind of a big bedroom it has that one entire wall pretty much was like covered in board I wouldn't games. say it's a big bedroom. I mean, it's actually kind of a small bedroom, I would say. I mean, it was big enough for three kids. 
Well, I mean, there were two. There was a bunk bed in there and yeah, another bed, and another but bed. it wasn't. I actually think it was not big. It wasn't really big enough for three kids. Actually, it was definitely you know. bigger than my room. Mm, I don't know about that. Oh, definitely, definitely. Well, anyway, yeah, we had a lot of. We ended up over the years collecting a lot, a lot of board games, but um, a yeah. lot of a lot of those games were old games from that were just hand me down games that we got that were from the seventies and stuff, you know. Like Yahtzee, <laughs> yeah, stuff like that. You know, Yahtzee and those mm-hmm. that golf game, and oh, actually, this oh, one and, game, uh, right? Ding or whatever. Oh, or, I forgot what that's called, but uh, yeah, and, bell? Uh, uh, yeah, the bell? bell, that bell game, a uh, hit. It's called Hit or something. Uh, uh, what's that game called? It's yeah. Anyway, um, Smack Slap, I don't know. something like that. But anyway, this is we're going to talk about toys, not necessarily games, even though that's we, we could have done a game thing. I didn't think we'll do a the game thing, I, but um, as a separate thing. But these are more toys, and we're going to look well, at toy I like, commercials. I like creative toys, you know, that involved making things like like spin art. I love spin art. I really liked my Easy Bake Oven. Somehow, for some reason, the cakes that I made in that thing tasted very good. And they had a specific kind of taste that I feel like is not really replicable today. In today's- Replic- replicable. Repli- yeah. Like, I, I just, I, I feel like I, I don't think I'll ever be able to recreate <clears throat> that taste and texture. Mm. And you know what that oven was? It was simply just a lamp with a light bulb inside of it, like a 60 watt light bulb. Oh yeah. Really? And that was the thing that would cook the, the batter. Mm. Maybe it was like a hundred watt light bulb, but that's crazy to think that one would have to wait that long. I mean, for a hundred watt light bulb to cook a cake. Yeah. Wow. It's a miracle well, that it actually worked. <clears throat> well, this is uh, this is this. So this is, we're going to look at some toy commercials and this segment is called toys uh, toys from wait, hold on. Toys from the Crip. Oh yeah, toys from the Crip. Rubber chicken and other strange toys. pretty funny part of that title is not in there i think chick chicken jessica you probably maybe uh missed that part the where there it says uh rubber chicken and another i didn't another know strange that, i didn't know that was part of the official yes. title sorry <laughs> yeah I it was it, i thought it was like locked. put that in there rubber chicken <laughs> yeah the, rubber chicken and another it's like this convoluted t- title tales mm-hmm. from the crit or sorry toys from the crip toys from the crip rubber chicken colon you know t- toys from the crip colon Rubber chicken and other strange toys. Right. <laughs> Let's watch that again, actually. Just, okay. yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's almost, All right. Almost demonic. By the way, I think, <laughs> really? I think Gemma, well, I mean, might, I think Gemma might, might be the only one that noticed um, this right here. <gasps> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, Let no, me no. See. Can I go back to the picture, actually? Can I see the picture? Wait, somebody else. To, uh, no, Kimball White noticed. Kimball Whiting. I didn't even think about that. I. Oh, I know. That was one of the first oh, things. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Oh, that is so funny. I didn't even notice that. That's really funny. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> that is really... Can I see that again, actually? <laughs> That's funny. That is really funny. Wait, hold on. Is there other fun stuff going on in this picture? Well, look at this guy yeah. right behind the front guy with, like, a mask on or whatever. He's got, like, Wait, one of those... Man, like, he was just like... That, mask that, masks. Yeah. No, it looks like... Sub Zero or something? Is that yeah, supposed I, mean, to be I, didn't, I didn't do that. He's just like Sub Zero, I guess that guy. Well, is that like a gas well, mask or something? Sub Zero, no, Sub Zero, Sub Zero is a Crip. He Sub Zero is blue. Yeah. Oh right. Wait, Lord, do you know Sub Zero? Yeah, from is it from Mortal Kombat or is that from Street Fighter? No, it's from Mortal Kombat, right? Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Wait, Lord, do you know Mortal Kombat? Duh, 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 <laughs> duh, duh, duh. 
<laughs> da, da, da. What about da, instead da, of saying da, da, you go da da da. Da da da. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you something you, you already know, okay? Lord, do you know that you have a ribbon in your hair? Da da da. <laughs> da da da. Wait, tell da, me something da. I know already. Uh, do you know you're wearing headphones? Da da da. <laughs> so, wait, you wait, Lord, did you play Mortal Kombat? Da da da. <laughs> well, I know you played Wait, you, I know you played Street Fighter too, but oh, I who, played Mortal Kombat. Who did you play with on Mortal Kombat? I played Kombat? MKB. <laughs> who did you play with in that? I mean... Who was your person I that you played with? Sub-Zero, maybe. <laughs> yeah, right. No, really? Dalzim. No, wait, no. Dalzim's Dal from Street Fighter. Sorry. Wait, who else was in Mortal Kombat? I forget. Remind well, me. There's, there's Scorpion. Oh, yeah, Scorpio. <laughs> who else? There's Raiden. Or right, Raiden. Raiden. Uh, Raiden? Ra I don't Raiden. really remember that person that much. Who else? They got Sonya, Kano... Liu I Kang. Think Sonya, yes, I definitely think you I played did. with Sonya every once in a blue corn moon. Yes, I mean, if we're talking Mortal Kombat 2, I mean, there's Katana, there's Milana, there's you know, Katana, there's Baraka, there's Barack Obama, <laughs> there's Barack Obama, Milana, there's Barack Obama, Melania. there's Melania Trump, there's Melania, there's, there's Donald, or they had Donald, they had uh, oh, Michelle, they, they had um, wait, there's Johnny Cage. Wait, I think I played Mortal Kombat 1. You know that Johnny, the person who played Johnny Cage was also a lot of the characters in, in the game. You know, Johnny Cage was also Scorpion and, and Sub-Zero. And... I'm pretty sure I played Scorpio. Scorpion. Really? Yeah. What, what's his big fatality move? Some sort of, you know, blaster master. <laughs> you know, he shoots some kind of bullet out of his butt or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Some okay. kind of scorpion sting. What he about like Street he like he like basically puts the guy on the ground like this, and then he stings him with a scorpion tail. Mm. Right, something like that. No, but or he does he, some kind of he takes you know, off his mask. Of sorts. He takes off his mask and he's had <laughs> a skeleton underneath, and he breathes fire onto them. That's what I was saying. Does that, does that ring about? Well, no, you were kind of right about the whole bullet coming out of his butt, but right. Um, and then what about uh? Did you you what, who did you use in Street Fighter Two? Well, Chun Li for sure. That was my go-to. But uh -huh. also, you know, uh, Blanco, Blanca. <laughs> um, you know, you use Blanca. Or, yeah, and every once in a blue corn moon, I would get on uh, Dalzim tip. Uh huh. Doing those like through things. <laughs> what? Where he jumps in the air and then he like spins and then he's just like turns into like a like a log that's rolling and then he kind of just <laughs> pins it down with his feet on whoever it is. I, mean, I kind of know what you mean by that. I guess <laughs> he turns into a log. <laughs> he like goes like rolls. This, yeah, like, I know what you mean. He kind of does that, but he doesn't really. He does that in the air, I guess. Yeah, right? in the air. Uh -huh. Like he's like a flying log or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> a flying log. <laughs> it's true. I guess he is a flying log. You know, because he's. Uh, I mean, a rolling log in a way. You know, rolling right. in the water kind of. <clears throat> Who else? Okay, I mean, Chun Li was definitely my go-to. Because mm -hmm. I definitely a, got those spinning fire, spinning fire kicks down, mm -hmm. and you know, like the things where she just like throws the people on the ground. Mm -hmm. Well, how about that, Chicken okay. Jessica? Do you have anything to comment on with regards to that? Do you think Laura some sounds like a, some kind of pro? No. <laughs> Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Not a Mortal Kombat. I mean, I played it a little bit. No, you're way off. Way off. I'm no, way off on what. Wait, uh, were you talking Mortal Kombat characters? Because I heard some like Chun Li. No, no, he no, was no, asking no, me we... if I played Street Fighter Two. Oh, I saw. Who were my go tos on Street Fighter Two? Yeah, I don't know. Turbo, don't know. that is. Oh, I mean, I was a guy, guy boy, so I don't know. All right, I, and that's not a All popular right. choice, I would say. So. All right then. Wrong person, yeah. And wait, who did you go for, Ken or whatever? Well, I used Ken and Ryu. I mean, I like yeah, Chun Li. Right. Was actually Chun Li was a bit of a go to as well, actually. You know. Right, but, but like. Uh, also, I mean, Blanco was pretty fun with those electric shocks. Yeah, those electric shocks. Oh, actually, E Honda was one of my go tos. E -Honda. I like e Honda. Oh, yeah, E Honda, where he like hugs you to death. <laughs> he can do that, yeah. <laughs> well, and yeah. he just sort of like hugs you and then blasts you on the ground, kind of thing. 
He's like, he can blast it. Well, he can, here's, some, I mean, you can just mess people up. You get them in a corner and you start doing this hand thing. Right. The hand thing. I totally yeah, use that's that. Really I've done that. Yeah. You that's just some, press the button really over and over and then boom, you got it. That's, that's it. That's really something. Yeah. Well, anyway, we're going to do a separate video game. Ep I know this is, no we're, we're really off. We're talking about, no, we're, we're talking about video games and board games. And yet this episode's not even about either. But anyway, um, all right. So let's get, let's, what do we have here? What's, what do we have on the lineup here? All right, so um, first up, we got the uh, Masters of the Universe uh, Slime Pit. I love that game. Heard that toy. Let me. I can I, 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 let I me explain? Know, I don't know anything about this, but you might. So wait, did you suggest that, Brent? Yeah, I did because oh, okay. we had I'll say that. this. I remember when I saw this commercial in in 1985. I thought this thing looks so cool to me. I didn't. I wasn't even into He Man, by the way. I didn't care about action figures either. You know. And I saw the slime pit thing, and it was some. It was for the bad. It was a bad guy thing, and basically they trap somebody in this thing. This claw comes up from in, be, in between the legs of the action figure, and then this kind of dinosaur or dra maybe it's a dragon skull sort of head Elevator. opens up its mouth, Elevator. and slime comes out of the mouth, and you know go covers the whatever whoever's sitting in Wait, the. No, that's in the Skeletor. Thing. Skeletor. No, 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 it's not. Huh? Are you sure? Yeah. I thought and... it was called the Skeletor Slime Pit. No, no, uh, no. Sure. I think it's called the Horde Slime Pit or something like that. And Wait, so... Isn't Skeletor from He-Man, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guy. He's the main bad guy, yeah. But um, I didn't even care about the show either. I didn't care about the show, really. It's... Although I always used to think like that it. the Ark... Arco gas station, I always used to think, oh, that's Arco from... But it's actually Orco. But there was... I, I always kind of thought... Arco gas station was related to He-Man, but anyway, um, so then the slime would get all, all over the action figure, and I would say, and I thought that thing looks cool. It was just cool that you know this thing came up between their legs, this claw, and then this the skull opened up with the slime came out. I thought that was really cool. So um, I really wanted that, and I think um, I think our aunt got got it for me or something. And, Man, I remember when you got that, I was really jealous. Like well, I, you always got stuff that I wanted. Well, they didn't the, think I would want because it was like for boys or whatever. Well, I, I, what's funny is I didn't have any action figures to put them to put in there. I so, did though. I had Shira. Right, but we didn't. I didn't. All I had were these finger puppets that our dad gave us. That oh, were these okay. kind of men's faces, you know, that made these kind of oh, those, funny yeah. faces. You know, you put your fingers in there, and then you could kind of contort their face in different ways. So Wait, dad I didn't have any. Yeah. And so I didn't have any, any, you know, I didn't know, have any action figures to put in the slime pit. So I just put these, um, these, uh, these faces in there, and I just those things got slimed instead, you know. Oh, really? Huh. That's some interesting information. So, okay, yeah. let now let's see the commercial. <laughs> from the masters of the universe. Wait, start start from the top. Start from the top. From the masters of the universe, Hordak reveals the most gruesome trap ever. Welcome to the Whoa. slime pit. The what? The slime pit. Now, Spike, or you're my slave, not the slime. Yes, my slime. Whoa. Oh. Oh my god. The music is so cool in that video. That was such an awesome video. I mean, that is just such a cool commercial. You just wouldn't see that nowadays. I mean, it's just that contraption. I was I didn't care about action figures because I felt I mean, aside from Transformers, I thought they didn't do anything. They just they're just what do you do with these? You just pretend it's like playing with dolls or something, I felt like. Right. Oh, I you don't know, remember that dinosaur head being on it though. I guess yeah, it must have been. I, I, I guess it must be after you got it no i just remember the claw thing coming up no i did not lose that for i had it for a while actually years when and we moved into the new house but we, we you know when we that we i still had it you know wait wait say again what when we moved into the new house i still had it, and wait, it was you up got on this when we were at the old house yeah mm -hmm. oh i thought you got it when we were at the new house mm -mm. oh my god it's that old Damn. yeah Oh, I, yeah. I, for some reason, I just remember the claw part of it. But man, we better still have that. Yeah. I think we do. Yeah. 
I guess this is there anything to talk about about this commercial? I mean, this well, kid's kind of getting watch it one more time. From it's so, yeah. From the masters of the universe. All right, pause it. The most Look at how dark this commercial is, and how it's kind of just so sort of it, scary. It's if you watch kids commercials, I hope you got some kids commercials from today, like today's times, because oh no, I don't think like he did. This. You know, they're just so not as edgy. You know, I feel like there's a kind of edginess to this commercial that you said. It's just, you know, today's things are just generally not as edgy as they used to be. By the way, you know what? I, I just a side note here. I was watching Home Alone today, which I do. I always like that movie. But the whole first 20 minutes of that movie is about, you know, the family having a bunch of people at the house and everybody's getting ready to go on their Christmas vacation. Right. And there's all this commotion. Well, everybody is so mean to each other in it, you know, uh -huh. like just the way everybody treats each other is just so crass and like mean. <laughs> and I just feel like you wouldn't see that nowadays. You know what I mean? For example, like in the new season or that whole the new thing of Willow or whatever, you know, the new Willow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just so like lame and like, you know, kind of not edgy. <laughs> it's just they don't have it's that anymore. Edginess is out. It's a different world. <laughs> By the way, the slime came in this jar, not yeah, jar, so. but it was a plastic kind of, it was a plastic kind of jar. Yeah. And anyway, I remember it dried up after a year or something like that. The slime was dried up. Right. But the slime in this video looks pretty darn, you know, good in terms of the consistency and the thickness and whatnot. But yeah. uh, the one that you had, was it white or was it green? Oh, you had a different thing that was a green guy that you squeezed Welcome slime out of it. Slime. Remember that? That's green something slime? else. That was something else. And yeah. That had green slime, right? Red slime, I think. Oh, red, right? Yeah. But um, but yeah, I guess you know they do make slime nowadays for kids and stuff. They do make sort of substance. Yeah, I mean, look, toy. yeah, no, people, they're squeezable type things that people get going. Right. And... Something about this. Is so much, there's something. I don't know. They just don't make them like that anymore. I guess kind of. Well, anyway, keep let's, going. Let's see. What? The slime pit. Now Look at that. Wait, wait, go pause it back. Look how that claw comes up from in between their, his legs, you know? Right, that's that, I thought suggestive. that was cool. It is suggestive, though, isn't is that it? A groom? Look at that. It goes right up, you know? It Are just they goes... grooming? <laughs> but that is kind of hardcore. They just straight up grab this guy's balls just now. Look at the know? background. Is it like some kind of, you know, ruins that they're in? Huh? Look at the background. It's like rocks falling on a column or right, something. Right, they're in some sort of ruins. vortex. <laughs> Listen to this music. It reminds me of Strange Tales. Right. It is kind of crazy. Cool. Slime. No one escapes the evil or slime. Wait, wait. Look, cool look at music. the music. Did you hear that synthesizer? That was kind of cool. Yeah, play it again. Listen, it is like a horror movie, but also look at that. The way the kid says next. He goes, next. Wait, what? Let me hear that. <laughs> and look at his face, too. He kind of just kind of contorts his face, you know? <laughs> Wait, did you see his? Did you see his face? Oh my God! What the hell? That like, was go weird. back, go back. Right. Kind of weird, huh? How this that kid's going? Next, what That's is he doing? They is just he... show his mouth. They don't show his eyes. I, you know what? You know, what I'm thinking. I think he was trying to do ventriloquism. I think he was trying to make the the, oh, dra the right. dinosaur head. He's trying to make that say next, but he's kind of trying right. to. He's trying to do his ventriloquism, you know. He's kind of trying to, you know, he's trying to go like this. You're blowing me up for a second. He's going like this. Next, you know, right. he's trying to make it look like he's not talking. All right, sorry, that wasn't worth right. blowing me up for, I guess. But one quick second, I just want to see what was that shadow on his face, on his neck. Oh, I don't know. Never mind. It almost looked like a gun. <laughs> right. Oh, it does look like a gun for a second. Right there, kind of. Yeah, it's like, what? <laughs> the kid is being forced to say this. <laughs> the lighting is so he's, intense. He's at right, gunpoint. Like, he's trying it, to think. Like, do it without moving your lips. He's like, I can't. And they're like, do it or die. He's like, next. That was the best he could do. <laughs> and they're like, with gusto. Do it with gusto. <laughs> It's uh, so weird. I just feel like you don't see commercials in that dark of a tone anymore for kids. 
but maybe i mean who knows although i do know i see commercials for kids and they're not like that oh by the way to answer somebody's question they asked if laura was a fan of todd Solins, and she is oh yeah who asked somebody did when a, a little bit ago oh it's, it's yeah anyway um all right let's what else we got here Remember Transformers? Oh yeah. Yeah, transform. Now Transformers was the doll I did like because they did something. You know, you could transform them into stuff. That was cool. But stuff that was just action figures from cartoons, you know, like He Man or whatever or Thundercat. They if they're just gonna stand there, what's the? I don't. What do you do? You don't do anything with them. Well, I guess it's you like Dungeons and Dragons. You make up a story and then you act it out with it. I, yeah, I guess so. I just, just I, I wanted to see it do something. I wanted it to do something. You know, that's why the slime pit did something. You know, right. Um. Anyways, this is a this is a Transformers commercial. You want to check it out? Let's check it out. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Here we go. Only the aerial bots have this kind of teamwork. This is sort of. Oh, they should they become one? Okay, now oh, this is kind of interesting. Cool. This is kind of interesting right here. Let's see this kid transform. Right. Uh oh. Oh no, that uh oh, that didn't yeah, work. Yeah, the vi video kind of yeah, got a little funked up. No, for some no, reason, it's it's, like, it's all it's choppy. Good. For some reason, seriously. Yeah, one yeah. more time. Yeah, yeah I, I can just scrub through it. Okay. That's weird, really. Oh, I'm going. Well, also, this this boy has this robotic voice. I like it. Yeah, he goes more than meets the Look end. how serious he is. He's so serious. Kids are not serious these days, like that kid is. Yeah. Well, that's weird. It's you know, they, he has a look in his eyes that has conviction. The kids of these days, they don't have convictions. <laughs> right, right. They're just so blase. That's, that kid is convicted. Convicted. He's, he's convicted. a convicted. He's a, yeah. he's a convict. Nobody can stop Minasaur except Superion. The Transformers, sold separately from Hasbro. Uh, we didn't get to see the more than meets the eye kid. Can we go back? There's I want to see that kid transform. I want to see that kid that transforms. Uh. Okay, I think it's back. It's, it's not back. Huh? It's it's all Damn like. It. Oh, here it comes. Oh yeah, robots in disguise. That's kind of interesting that he transforms. That was cool. Sold separately from Hasbro. Wait, isn't there? I had saw something that was this contest, I guess. Yeah, is that I think coming up right coming now? Coming up. Oh. I think it's like, I'm sorry, it's like oh. a second, second commercial. That's what I was oh, trying yeah. to get to. Oh, yeah. Spike yeah. and friends, Shannon Lighter, they wear transform reflected badges. Okay. The Transformers. In the Transformers prizes oh. in disguise game, everyone's a winner. To be fair, <laughs> I, I think I just meant to play this one only. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Transform reflected badges. Okay. The Transformers. In the Transformers prizes in disguise game, everyone's a winner. I got a free reflective patch. Superior. Omega Supreme. And eight more. And your patch may disguise. Can you go back actually to this? Dude, these <laughs> yeah. kids are so much tougher than the kids these days. <laughs> also, like, look this, at... it's crazy the voiceover on this. It's just, it, it's so hardcore, the voiceover. Oh, yeah, let's listen to that deeply. Get let's your listen. thing. Yeah. Yeah. In the Transformers prizes in disguise game, everyone's a winner. I got a free reflective patch. Superior. Omega Supreme. Look how Eight tough that kid was. Oh my god, wait, was that Jonathan Brandis? Hold the shit. I think that was Jonathan Brandis, now deceased, unfortunately. But is that? Omega Supreme. Oh my god, is it? Is Jonathan, it Jonathan Brandis of Jonathan, the Never Ending Story 2? I know who I know who he is in Ladybug's fame. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the kid from Sequest. I think it's Jonathan Brandis, maybe. Look at how <laughs> tough and intense he is. They are not like that. They don't make them like that nowadays. Wait, is that the same kid? No, uh, right? Yes, it is, it is. Oh, that is that ain't him though. He's right? just not as intense in that shot, but he's still an intense guy. You can or tell. is he? Yeah. Look at these kids. Chode says Jonathan Brandness. Yeah. Look at, that's a 
That kid and ate more and so much tougher than any kid that is in Willow. Wait, look at this. You could win this party with these light, these big robot guys that come to oh your God, party. Actually, Isn't that weird? Wait, hold up. Let's just see that again. What? That's so weird, what? actually. Wait, you know? and your patch made this guy's an instant prize, like a party with life-size transformers or electronic voice changes. What? A party with life-size wait, wait, wait. transformers? <laughs> look, you can get this, that this is decoder. Insane. You can get this voice modulator thing. Are cool. You get to sound like the guy in the voiceover. Or electronic voice changers. <laughs> Wait. You can get prizes. You can get prizes such as live, live, like life-size life transformers at your birthday party or a voice box. Okay, so obviously they're actors in transformer costumes. How do they transform in person? Do they like take <laughs> off their cod pieces and reveal? Some kind and of reveal an airplane. Song. <laughs> right. Just kidding, but I mean seriously though, how do they do that? They just kind of say hi. What's up? I think they say hi and they say, "Hey, we're gonna go now. We're gonna transform into our vehicles. We're but we'll see you later." And they like, "Hey, we're gonna go now. We gotta get to the mall. We gotta be at the we gotta mall go, too. We gotta but, we gotta, know, gotta go now. We gotta go. We gotta go to Great Western Bank and cash these checks. So uh, okay. we're gonna yeah. Have a fun. Have a fun birthday. Bye." <laughs> But they also say, we're going to go transform now into the vehicles that we can transform into. Okay, turn around. And like, uh, oh, can, can you find your mom? Does she have our check? Or Find your <laughs> or does, mom. Find your find mom. Your does mom. she have our check? <laughs> find your mom. Party with life-size transformers or electronic voice changers. Okay, pause it. That thing is actually kind of cool, I got to say. It's awesome. Yeah. I mean, but they have that nowadays. I would say. But that's crazy that you put that in your mouth and you kind of—it's well, it's just you know, a like microphone those, with a vocoder in it. It's an interesting toy, though. I you think. Know how deep in his mouth it goes? It's almost like a gag piece. It's like a gag ball. Or transformer. It, it was really in his mouth, don't you think? Yeah. Look at it. No, it is in his mouth. It's that's like what that. I'm saying. Again, it's deep in his mouth. Oh, well, okay, wait. <laughs> No, no, no. It, it, that's how those vocoders do. You know those. No, when, it's not. They don't. They know stick that. these. They stick a tube in their mouth. No, that's that's a talk box. This is yeah, talk box. That's what it's, I mean. Yeah. No, this is not that. Oh, okay. It's a microphone. Oh, yeah, really? It's, it's just, not in his it's mouth. Basically. I thought it was. Or transformer action cards get transformer reflective patches and game details free in specially marked packages. It's frozen. Man, I wonder who won the the guys that come into their birthday. Right, I know. I want to see those guys coming to the party. You know, I mean, who are the guys? Really? Cards get transformer. Do they just happen? have guys on standby like year round that are like, okay, right. once the last birthday party? <laughs> right. I mean, <laughs> I mean, they're like, yeah. we haven't had any winners yet. Just stand by, and they're like, can we take off our costumes while we're waiting? <laughs> they're like, no, we need you to be in full regalia year round. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Uh, and they're boss? like, uh, boss, my balls are getting a little sweaty in here. Can I? Uh... <laughs> Do you learn if I just uh, only wear the mask? <laughs> Can I just uh, remove the bottoms for a little bit? Like, Can I uh, just boss, get five? My balls are a little sweaty. Do you know where the men's room is? <laughs> uh, Can I get boss, a men's room? My bo boss, my balls are sweating a little bit. Can I uh, just get a five spot on my bottoms real quick? They're like, uh, boss, uh, my penis is stuck between my butt cheeks. Uh, do you know where the men's room is? Can I, get a men Can I go to the men's room? Can I get an anal floss? Uh, boss, do you have a transformer floss for my butt cheeks? <laughs> Wait, what do you what do you think? What do you think uh, the voiceover guy said? Did you say, uh, boss? Can boss? Can I can I take some time out? My armpits are sweating right now. <laughs> They're like, uh, boss. I'm uh, so sorry. I got the vocoder stuck between my butt cheeks. Do you mind if I use the men's room? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, their uh, boss and the boss is like butt cheeks. How did you get it stuck between your butt cheeks? Uh, don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> and then the guy runs off to the bathroom. Meanwhile, his friend is like, "Okay, you want to know, boss, how it happened? He was taking the vocoder, and he thought it'd be a funny gag to stick it up his butt crack and fart Lo into and it. behold, fart into it. Lo and behold, it gets stuck in some. There's some kind of other item up there, such as a freaking guinea pig <laughs> and the guinea pig freaking chokes on the vocoder and now he's got to use the men's room so that's all there is to it the guinea the guinea pig choked on the vocoder barfed a little and now he's got to go to the bathroom to wipe up <laughs> <laughs> the, 
the, the, the guinea pig the, barfed on the vocoder, barfed a little, said, ref, said, sophisticated, yet refreshing. I like it. And now he's got to go to the bathroom and wipe up. Duh, simple as that. Oh. <laughs> like, boss, how do you not know these things? Uh, boss? What do you want? The boss is the voiceover guy. Right. The boss is the voiceover guy. What do you want? What do you want? Uh, can I go to the men's room? Why? Men's room? Why? <laughs> why? Men's room? Why? He goes, he goes, uh, don't ask. <laughs> don't ask. I, and then the right, guy go goes, ahead. He yeah, goes, yeah. what was that all about? Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and like another guy, the friend, he goes, no, no, he's like, what the hell was that all about? He's like, what the fuck was that all about? And the other guy I'm trying says, to run a kids. I'm kind of, I'm trying to run a kids commercial here. The other guy says, "Well, if you really want to know, he just you know thought it would be a fun gag if he sticks the vocoder up his cheeks and then he all thought of it'd a be sudden, fun. The guinea pig that was shoved up there two nights before when he was down over there on Santa Monica and Doheny was <laughs> choking on the freaking vocoder, boss a little bit, said sophisticated yet refreshing, and now he's got to go to the men's room and wipe up." that enough of an explanation for you now can i please get back to this birthday party <laughs> i didn't need Kids to know all... <laughs> good work <laughs> i don't know maybe he's proud of him for telling I don't he's know. like okay thank you over that <laughs> okay roger thank that you. Thank you. roger that roger that he's like understood okay situation understood <laughs> Situation understood. Now on with the show. Anyways, you can win a, a free contest with your with life size. You know, he's like still doing this, uh, trying to run the commercial. I don't know. Anyway, all right. Yeah. Should we just do one more commercial or what? Or should we? I, I think the Chicken back. Jessica needs to refresh their modem. So uh, I don't know. Should we just do one more of these or what? Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. Might maybe be choppy. Maybe I don't know. It must be me. Um, well, I see the little connection thing happening. So, um, I got this commercial from 1977. <laughs> it's like, uh, it's like a toy cow for kids and they do stuff to it. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, <laughs> let's check it out. All right. Hopefully, hopefully it's not too choppy, but if it, we'll just rewind it. Milky, the marvelous milk and cow. Wait, take, take it from the top. Take it from the top. What the hell? Here's this is so weird. Milk and cow. It's fun to milk her. Gonna do it right now. She oh my god, this is definitely grooming right here. She's raising her head. It's milk and time now. What the fuck? Oh my god, did you see the lips on that thing? <laughs> that was so hardcore. Go what the hell? That is very weird. Okay, it's like a woman cow. <laughs> I mean, a cow is a woman, you know. I know, but it's like this is a female, like this is like a human woman lip. <laughs> right, right, right. No, it's it's weird. So weird. It actually, it's actually, it's kind of, it, it's actually weird because like there's something almost kind of. Lip. It's it is weird. It's almost like a humanoid cow or something like that, you know. It's so freaking ass weird. Oh my god. Milk and time now. <laughs> oh my god, they're totally milk. squeezing tits over here. I mean. Is I guess people milk? have to do this, you know, in real life, but still, it's so weird that it's, this is a grooming commercial, don't you think? Now, now is that real semen, or is that just milk? <laughs> <laughs> that a cow would be squirting out semen. Yeah. That looks, wait, can you go back? I'm sorry, I just want to say this. That, that, so... that, that does not look like milk. <laughs> No, I, it does not. I think at the end of the commercial, they mentioned that it's fake milk or something. It's something weird. Yeah, like, fake yeah, milk yeah, means yeah, substitute yeah, for milk, yeah. something else, because that looks like truly like something else. <laughs> this is so freaking weird. At the same time, it's kind of all very innocent in a way. These kids really just want to milk a cow because it's fun <laughs> to do that on the farm. You know what I mean? Like, People do it there. If you know, if you're from the country or from the farm and you know, you have a cow and then you milk it. And maybe when a kid sees an adult doing it, they're like, I want to try. And now they can with this thing. No, it is kind of a cool toy. I and mean, they have to have, it has to have a woman's lips to make it even more real. It has to have those nice di di dick sucking lips, you know, those, too. those lips are so intense. Don't you think? Well, I feel like are lips weird. are the most kind of vulgar thing about this whole thing. Yeah, they are weird. I mean, it, it almost intense. looks, 
Yeah, they're weird. They're definitely weird. I mean, the whole thing, it does look like a, a woman's face in a weird way. You know, What I mean? freaking cow has lips like that? Honestly, it kind of reminds me of a, just an aggressive... It reminds me of the face of a woman that I saw in Amsterdam once, you know, when I went to the red light district. I just went there to check it out to see what that looked like. And the there there was a woman there that was looking like this and she was really aggressive. Mm -hmm. now, her, preteen milk is a feeling the pale. her what kind of milk? Her what? Her preteen milk? Is a feeling the pale. Wait, you just say her preteen milk. Pre Milk and time now. Her preteen milk is a feeling the pale. Wait, pause it. What? Her preteen milk is filling pre the pale. Preteen. I think because it it needs oh, to go into a tin. Oh, preteen before it goes in like a bottle. In the tin. This is very odd. Let's and listen to the words now. very closely here. Go back. Can we go to the beginning? Let's just listen to the lyrics. I haven't really gone. There. Here's Milky, the marvelous milking cow. It's fun to milk her. Gonna do it right now. Wait, pause it, pause it. It's fun to milk her. I mean, it's, it's fun to milk. We're gonna do it right now. Oh, wait. I just look at this. You you actually, it's feed actually it water. Very, you feed, <laughs> you feed it water by shoving its head in a bucket head of into, water. That's kind of weird that you feed they, the they cow the water. The and that they shove the head in the water. They're like, they, they're like, shoving their the, the cow's head in a bucket it's of almost water. like he's shoving it down into a crotch in a way you know what i mean or it's almost like he's shoving he's like gonna drown it before having right sort of right like, right you know, like sexual relations with it i know that's just such a dark interpretation of what's ultimately <laughs> an innocent video of two young children at play actually these kids are nice kids you know? they are nice kids and i feel like this is just we're really <laughs> i don't know what does it say it's yeah really jamie you know says the fluid going in is water, but it turns white. <laughs> right, exactly. I know. What the hell is that all about? Okay. Here's Milky, the marble milking cow. It's fun to milk. Uh oh, it's, frozen. it's getting it's stuck. Frozen. Okay, it's go frozen. back. It's fun to milk. It's fun to milk her. Gonna do it right now. She drinks the water when we pump her tail. She's raising her Pump her tail. It's kids. so fucked up. It's like, imagine doing that to a real cow. <laughs> Taking their tail and just like shoving it back and forth between their legs. Yeah, pumper tail. I know, that, <laughs> that is just like that sounds suggestive. Right. That sounds su suggestive. Pumper tail. Well, it's not and just then, suggestive, but it just seems like they're almost kind of like abusing this poor cow. And then First the cow, thing, the head of the cow goes up when you pump her tail and she lifts her head up and goes, mmm, or whatever. It's you know? almost like one of those, like, I hate to say this, but rape porn videos. I mean, I've never seen them, but I, you know, I've heard of them. <laughs> Where they like, you know, these guys that they're like aggressively doing things to women, and then you know, that's a thing. That's this. Too much? No. It's just a bit weird. It's frozen. Ugh. I cannot believe this is real. I can't believe this is real. Like, I don't. They just wouldn't make this nowadays, right? I mean, it wouldn't be allowed, right? Well, they up? could they could be they could maybe you really think so i mean it seems like this kind of a commercial simply would not get made nowadays right like the all the contents of this commercial are just i don't think well, anybody in their right well, mind would think this is all just well maybe the come part the come part would probably be you know something you'd see today but other than that you know oh go back rewind a little bit oh my god i feel like that cow is just violate it's getting violated basically ultimately <laughs> and these kids are innocent too and how there's some other sinister force behind all of it you know what i mean <laughs> making all of this happen Milky the marvelous milk and cow with pretend milk tablets. She's from Kenner. Oh, pretend milk tablets. <laughs> oh, maybe you put the tablets in the cup and then they just essentially make it look like it's water. Like no, you put ta no. This is what you you put a tablet inside the cow and then you know drinks the the, the water and it mixes with the tablet and then it becomes. Oh out. wait, no, the tablet's comes, inside the nipple area. Maybe it comes out as semen, basically. Oh my god. Is that it? The end of the commercial? Let's watch it one last time. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Milky, the 
here's Milky, the marvelous milking cow. It's fun to milk her, gonna do it right now. She drinks the water when we pump her tail. She's raising her head, it's milking time now. Her pretend milk is a feeling the pail. She drinks water. I just pretend milk. Milky, the marvelous milking cow. Milky, the marvelous milking cow with pretend milk tablets. She's from Kenner. I mean, Mil it's funny. Milk and marvelous milk and kale with pretend tablets and water. <laughs> I wonder what that stuff is made out of, though, the, the tablets. I mean, you know, I can you drink it? I think they're made out of Alka-Seltzer. <laughs> can you drink it? Tablets can be drunk by kids only. <laughs> can like wild. you drink oh the milk tonight? <laughs> that is so weird, though. Wow. Well, that's interesting stuff. Yeah, very interesting. Very so bizarre. I mean, my God. Do you think it would have been too dark if the girl in there said, it's pretend cum? <laughs> yes, I do. You do? I think that would have been too dark. Uh -huh. But I mean, it's already just so strange. It just seems weird, you know? Just the fact that they have to like pump her tail and then dunk her head like that. It all feels so forceful. You gotta push, yeah, you got to push her head down into the water and then you got to pump the tail, squeeze the nipples. I mean, you like know. you don't pump the tail in real life, you know, <laughs> I know and squeezing right? the nipples is one thing, but pumping the tail. I mean, come on, it's just violent in a way. But, you know, it's all in good. Fun. It's all innocent. You know, it's, it's all, all innocent. innocent. It's all innocent. You know, Hopefully. I mean, those kids are cute. You know what I mean? Oh, they're adorable. But I mean, where are they now? Really? They're probably milking cows and pumping tails, you know. <laughs> I mean, honestly, they're probably like in Home Alone later on in life or something. Probably Home Alone 3, probably. Right, Home Alone 3. I mean, hey, what can we really say about that video that isn't is already really blaring out loud in the video itself? Cooling Prong says it's pretend calm. <laughs> oh, like instead of calm, it's like calm. Yeah, yeah right. calm. Uh huh. Yeah, that did Holy look God. like Darla from Little Rascals, actually. Oh, yeah. I guess it did. So, well, all there right. you well, go. We got it. We got some other commercials. You know, Chicken Jessica's going to reset her modem, and, you know, it's going to, we're going to, there are going to be some smoother commercials coming up in a little bit. And, God, do you um, see Stephen Guy's comments? He said there's one on sale. Well, it's on sale for sale on eBay for $450. Who knows? If yeah, well, that much Cammy. Still. Cammy said there was one for forty dollars though. Oh, is that true? Yeah. Wow. Hmm. Well, there you so, go. So we're gonna do more commercials, more toys, more talk, and the way to do that is to join the become a member. We're gonna do that right now in just a little bit. How do you become a member? Well, there's a little button that says join, and it's at the there, and you just click that, and then you can you know, whatever, join these different tiers. The first tier is you can go to the after show at debrief, which is what we're going to do now. And, uh, you know, we kind of just do more stuff there. Chicken jo Jessica joins us and is kind of on screen the whole time. And then we also, um, you get these little icons that you can use in your chat room um, exploits. And, um, you know, those are badges and those are, those are cool. We drew them ourselves. And, um, then we, uh, what after that we, and then there's another tier where there's behind the scenes content, so to speak, you know, we meet, you know, we talk about, Oh, what do you want to do this week? You know, whatever. And sometimes we talk about funny stuff. And then recently we ended up talking about white Lotus season two. And so that's going to be, uh, well, both that will, yeah, we'll have that up in by next week maybe, but then something up later tonight, but anyway, and so you might have fun with that. I don't know. A little something, you know? But uh, yeah, the link to the after show debrief is in the description of this video. And um, we also have a Discord if anyone wants to join the Discord. The, there's a link to that in the description of this video as well. If you want to, if you do join and you want to see any of the past uh, episodes, you know, past uh, debriefs, just check out the playlist uh, that had for this, uh, the chicken coop on this channel. And it has all of the previous things on there, and including. And whatever, anything else you look for, except for the ringtones. There's a monthly ringtone you get with the uh, tier two, and that's on the community tab. So that's it. That's all it is. And uh, thanks to Chick and Jessica for your help. And um, we do this every Monday at 6 p.m. Pacific time. 
next week will be a full on Christmas episode with com- Christmas commercials and stuff. Okay. We're going to do some real Santa Claus type stuff. And um, so my name is Brent Weinbach. I'm Laura Weinbach. And the name of the show is the chicken coop. Thanks for watching. We'll see, and if you're going to be joining with us for the after show debrief, we'll see you in a little bit, but otherwise see you next week. Bye-bye.